Good morning. Welcome to our weekend vlog. It's Saturday. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Mason, I just asked Mason, I was like, you're like an old man. He can't sleep in anymore. Um, he was up before I was up, but um, it's our weekend. If you guys watch, sorry if that's loud. I'm, I'm brewing my cup of coffee. Um, if you guys watch our last vlog, we announced that Mason made his high school basketball team. Yay, we're so excited for him. He's been working hard, practicing hard, and today he gets to go up to school and all the kids that made the team, they, I don't know, it's kind of like a celebration. I think that they're probably going to, um, I don't know exactly what they're gonna do. We're newbies, we're freshmen here. Um, we kind of heard that maybe um, pick out, um, jerseys like numbers and stuff like that not really for sure exactly so we'll have to ask him when he gets back that's how we're going to spend the first part of our Saturday um, I think I'll have time to maybe cook a quick breakfast definitely have time to drink my cup of coffee <laughs> um, but yeah it's the weekend I'm excited got Saturday morning breakfast going and look what we got Mason loves cinnamon rolls these are from Sam's Club Oh, yeah. Thanks for helping, Jack. Um, what are you helping? What? <laughs> no, he really did get the sausage started, so thank you. <laughs> I'm cooking. What do you mean? Helping? What is this helping? You're, you're such the best uh, husband in the whole I'll entire... I'll everyone. I'll be serving shortly. <laughs> okay, Mason is off to his basketball thing. Can't wait to hear about it. And we're about ready to leave to go up to a school for the parent meeting. But I think what we're going to do is after our parent meeting, we're going to head to the mall. Jack, do you wanna grab and show what Mason's been working with? They're right around the yeah. corner there. Um, he has started to complain about his shoes, so his shoes are over a year old. If you guys have been following us, you probably watched this vlog that he got his moon basketball shoes. Paul George's. Um, uh, they're I think Paul George's. Ooh, they're stinky too. He's got sneaker balls um, in there. He does, they do help guys, for the record. Get those sneaker balls, I promise you they work. Many hours of practice. Many scrimmages, games put in these shoes, but I think it is time. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're way too small. And you didn't even tell us. I know, they're actually a uh, whole size too small, but I swear that basketball shoes just run big because he's done that before, and I'm like, whoa, your shoes are way too small. So, yeah, it's definitely time for shoes. So, I think we're going to pick them up or after our. Um, our, our parent meeting, take him to the mall so he can look for brand new basketball shoes. We thought about putting him underneath the Christmas tree for a Christmas present, because I know you guys are gonna say, he's so spoiled, um, Christmas is right around the corner. But he's very picky with his shoes and he likes to try them on and he only likes certain ones, so. Cannot blame him at all, because right. I'm exactly the same way with my <laughs> basketball gets that shoes. that from you. 100,000%, so that's one of those where we're like, and he's going to need them before Christmas anyway. Right. So unfortunately, he, he needs them now. The timing for us is not great. Right. But but it is part of his Christmas, so he is very appreciative, and I know he is, and he's going to be excited. I hope that we're going to the I mall. I think he really knows we're doing that. So I we're know. Going straight from the basketball game. I think he's going to think mall. that we're going to come home. Hopefully, he's not like making plans or anything. When we're but... driving, I'm going to go. Sorry, bro. We're taking you shopping. And then he's going to complain. <laughs> yeah. And we're then, going Christmas shopping. Yes, and then he's going to complain. That's what we should and do. And then once he realizes what's going on, he's going to be super excited. Yeah. So, so. We're excited. Yep, it's time to go shoe shopping. You guys like these vlogs. So here we go. We got Mason back. Got to meet the, uh, the coach, Mason's coach, and he had a lot of good things to say about our child, which makes my mama ha heart happy. You too? Not my mama heart, but it makes me happy. Your yes. daddy heart? <laughs> You're a good that, kid, but... Mace. You're a good kid. Yeah, we'll keep it. Yeah. What? <laughs> so we got all the information that we need. Um, they definitely said again, no fans allowed this entire season. Just be thankful that we have a season because Absolutely. for a, a minute there, it was looking like we weren't going to have a basketball season. So we're just thankful that he gets to play bas basketball his freshman year. So, yes. um, did you have fun at your thing? Yeah. Do you want to kind of explain what happened? So like the f freshmen and like the newer people to the program like don't get to pick their numbers uh -huh. because the varsity level players and like returning players in the program pretty much get to pick your numbers and they like write a letter to you. Okay. So they're like the older, the and varsity players are your mentors? They're pretty much like you have like your own like mentor or, or like yeah. bigger brother to put in. Yeah. I like that. So like that's, really that's cool. how you get your number. 
Okay, so your big brother, your mentor, gave you what number? 32. Very cool. So Mason will be rocking number 32 this season. Mm -hmm. Very awesome. So you didn't really play basketball, you just kind of talked no, about the program like and talking about the program. What they expect everything. from you guys. What they expect, yeah. yeah. Keep your grades up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um we have nothing but good things to say about the program because they're teaching these kids to be men and not focused on I mean obviously you want to win, but the coach said that if you know they end up losing every single game as long as they become men and good people when they end the program when they're seniors or even if they decide to end the program when they're a freshman sophomore junior whenever they're done with the program that they're um, better people when they leave it yeah but he also did say they expect to win every time he's on the floor <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Well, make no mistake he <laughs> yeah. still wants to win but <laughs> his point was his goal number one is to make them better people one day his his coach his specific coach said one day better husbands, better fathers, better brothers, better family members, better people. Which and that's all good things. Which is exactly, yeah, what we couldn't ask for more from what their philosophy as far as coaches go. It's outstanding. Like yeah. everything about it is awesome. That's why we're excited for him to be a part of it. Very excited. Um, all right, so like we said earlier, we are on our way to the mall to do some Christmas shopping. Are you excited? No. <laughs> What happens if they're Christmas shopping's for you? Uh, then I'd be scared. Scared? Yes. <laughs> well, there's one specific thing we have to get while we're here today, and we're not leaving here until we do. Okay. Do Can we tell them? Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> no. How are those basketball shoes treating you? Ah, uh, I see now. Do you want to go get just some new basketball shoes? I'm no longer scared. I'm now happy <laughs> and excited. Now you want to go to the mall. Yeah. All right. So that's that's why we're going to the mall today to get. We're gonna shoes. do some other shopping too. No, 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 no. Just the shoes, right? But that's a big part of it. Yes. No. So. <laughs> so congratulations. We're super proud of you, and it's kind of like an early Christmas present. But we're gonna go get you we some. No, you need them before before the twenty fifth. Yes, you need so. them now. Sure. All right. So here we go. City edition. There you go. Looking nice. Phoenix Suns. Feels like our team's like a completely different team now. Mm -hmm. The sun. We're what? not here for cleats, Mason. I was talking about you. <laughs> those are fancy though. Spicy. Spicy, he says. <laughs> Who are those? Those are Harpers. Harpers, okay. Yeah. Very nice. Harper fives. Ooh. I actually like those. Oh, he's got like. Those are cool. Plastic, uh, and, plastic metal. and metal. Tristy. Yeah. This has always been like that. Founder okay. section. This is what we came for. All right, so we just saw what Dick Sporting Goods has. Now we're going to House of Hoops to see what they have. You see anything jumping out at you? We gotta wait in line. There's the Jolly Rancher ones. Those are like cool. We're in, we're in. That's what they have. Those are so cute. I love them. I love them. <laughs> you found your shoe, Jack? Your I used to rock these. This is I had the black pair, though. When did you have those? Like when I was in high school. High school? Love these shoes. So what I are they? The lightest shoes. Anthony Hardaway's? Okay. Penny Hardaway's? Okay. So that's got the one cent on. So that's what Jack used to rock, apparently. Yes. I bought a pair after pair of these when I would wear through them. That was your shoe. Love this shoe. It was super light. It's what helped me jump. <laughs> All right, we're back at Dick's Sporting Goods, and Mason's going to try on Three different ones here. Mm. First step. Switch to these ones. Might be going back to his old roots, the Kyrie's. Yep. Feel better? What's the ones you didn't like? The Paul George. Uh, the Donovan Mitchells and the Paul Georges. Yeah. Why didn't you like the Paul Georges? Um, the zipper, or uh, It was a lot of flex on the tongue, so it was hard for me to put it. Yeah, like the tongue. Like, yeah. The tongue, so like right had like here, a sock in there. Like this. It was yeah. like stuff like no that. Flex. So it was hard to get on. And then this is why this kid, he's picky about his shoes, you guys. He has to try them on. And he said the Spider Mitchells were just felt, shoe felt too big and bulky, basically. Yeah. For your feet. Too bulky. Yeah. 
All right, he's got the low tops on right now. They went to go see if they have a high top version in his size. All right, we're on to these ones. What are these, Jet Mason? Katie's. Katie. Now uh, we need to make a decision. Let's come down to these two. They both look crispy. All right, the shoes were purchased. Yep. Hold Dick's, out. Dick's Sporting Goods for the win. Feeling it right now? Yeah, let's yeah, do it. So show the box. Number seven. Nice. Even the box is fancy. No, I'm just kidding. It's Kevin Durant's. Look. Oop, dropped my phone. What color? I don't know. You guys totally, probably, totally don't know. Bam. I think they're fancy. I like the white dots and I like the design of the like shoe. Like the bottom. And it felt comfortable. Yep, that's, that's the, the number one thing. thing. That was, and then it's kind of like higher up here, but I liked it because it was comfortable. So yeah. The second I put them on, Protect they were those really ankles, Mason. And Dix was having a 25% off sale for the holidays, so that was for a win too. I know, because oh, the yeah. price came up and we were like, huh? I'm so relieved. <laughs> what? Like, yeah, thank you guys. You're welcome, buddy. Now I'm excited. How about Yay. we uh, go rent a gym? <laughs> you want to use them, huh? Yeah, he doesn't wear um, his basketball shoes outdoors. So mm. That's why they do last so long. Yeah. So it's for and on the court only. Um, I was asking Mason if he wants to go to Red Robin. Yep. What do you think? I don't care. Good with that? Let's go get a cheeseburger. Yeah. All that shoe shopping made me hungry. A lot of stuff on it sounds good. Okay, there you go. Look at you with your special drink. I think you got so, cream, what kind of cream soda? Orange craft soda. Orange craft, craft soda. Whipped cream cherry. Yeah. It looks good. Did you try it yet? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Wow, Mason. Is that what you wanted? A burger with everything on it? Looks good. And they have gluten-free buns here, so I get to be unhealthy and have a hamburger today, not a salad. Yes! Oh, Jack. What'd you get? Pig out burger. A it's pig like out burger? Bacon, 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 and bacon. Cheese and bacon? Yes. Lots of it? It's amazing. Nice. Five and trotty, but it looks amazing. Well, since we've gotten home from Red Robin, I'm so full, by the way, um, Mason is outside shooting hoops, and he has been, and the sun is pretty much setting, as you can see. He's been out there this entire time shooting hoops, I think getting basketball shoes. I know that he wishes that he could put those on, but like we said earlier, those are for inside only. So he has certain shoes that he wears outside because they get trashed fast. But while we were at the mall getting his shoes, we always get an ornament for Christmas every year. So Mason picked this one out. Oh, the suspense is killing me. There it is. How cute is that? So I'm gonna go put it on our Christmas tree. Every year we get one. Let's see. Um, trying to find one right here. That was, well, no, I think that's, here we go. This is one that we had made. That was 2013. I think my aunt got us that one. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Where are they all at? I know we got quite a few. Oh, there's the one when I was pregnant with Mason. We had that one made. 2005. You guys know Mason was born in 2006. Um, this one was from last year. So yeah, we just try to get one every year. We were gonna get maybe one that had to deal with 2020, like toilet paper or coronavirus, but Mason said he doesn't want to remember 2020 that way, so we got this one instead. Super cute. Good morning, waking up, Sunday fun day. I always forget about French toast. Haven't had it in a hot minute. I'm excited because it smells so good right now. Um, some sausage left over from yesterday. It's going to be a day full of watching football. We have Cardinals on first, and then the Eagles are actually on TV today. So they're the second game. Um, I think we're gonna have a day full of that. Speaking of football, we picked this up last weekend. I'm gonna attempt to uh, do our gingerbread house, but as you can see, pretty epic there. Kind of goes with today's theme of watching football all day. So I think Mason and I were gonna put that together. I hear people coming down the stairs. You guys ready for breakfast? I can hear them coming down, but yeah. It's Sunday. Did you smell breakfast? I did. I could hear you guys running down the stairs. Um, 
And I forgot to show you guys. What? This new bread. Do you think French toast will be good with that? I don't know. What do yeah, you think? Wanna try it? Do a sure. little bit of that, a little bit of that. A little gluten free for me. I like the pants. Are you staying warm? I am. <laughs> Very good. And it's cheaper than uh, turning on the heater. <laughs> yeah, we haven't we haven't turned on the heater yet, but in Arizona, we could pretty much go the whole. Uh, I could go the whole winter. <laughs> yeah, I think we could go the winter. Yeah. What was the low today in the 40s? Yeah, Sometimes 40s, we get into the 30s. Yeah. This week we're supposed to get into the 30s. I know some of you guys that's your high for the day. I know. <laughs> yeah. We're not complaining. We're not complaining. <laughs> no. Boys are headed out to get some hitting in. The grocery store. <laughs> Well, they are going to go to the grocery store going to hit. for me okay. after they get done hitting. Oh. Um, because like we said in the last vlog, Mason no longer can play club baseball because of the new rule that they had because of COVID. But the boys still, did you turn on the light? I did, but I said it. <laughs> the boys still need to get in baseball practice somehow, some way, even with Mason's crazy basketball schedule. So have fun hitting. And thank you for going to the grocery store for me. Sure. You guys are the best. I'm gonna stay home and watch football. No, actually I'm in the middle of doing laundry, so. But I'm gonna hand off the camera to them, get some clips hitting. Sure. Have fun. Let's go hit. Help you. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a horrible throw. That was a great hit. It was. And that's how we finish hitting. Hey, how's it going? We've been watching football all day. The see Cardinals pulled it off. Finally got the W. Eagles, it's about halftime. Um, new quarterback, and you guys, he's looking pretty good. Kind of excited. How are you feeling over there, Jack? I haven't had fun watching the Eagles in many, many weeks. So I know. So far, so good. And actually, oh no! Did we just miss the kick? I just jinxed it. Yard field goal. Oh, I jinxed it. But we like Wentz. He was a good. Like Wentz, yeah. yeah, he's a good man. Good quarterback. Half, right? Um, so yeah, it's half time. I think you guys wish me luck. I think I'm gonna attempt. May, is she gonna help me? No. He says no. <laughs> the gingerbread uh, stadium. I think we're gonna try to put that together. I highly doubt it's gonna look like that. So there's the before. So it's supposed to look like. We will show you the after. I know you guys are dying to see this masterpiece. <laughs> it's not that bad. Be nice to me in the comments. Let's go. Bam! So Mason picked out, he wanted a red team and a blue team, and he didn't start to help me until I started putting the candies on because somebody was eating the extra candies. So what do you mean? You asked for a handful. I mean... It's definitely not a COVID stadium. There's plenty of fans. So this was pre-2020. Yeah. What do you think, Mace? Looks pretty good. Yeah. You want to eat it? No. Me neither. I never eat them. Do you guys eat your gingerbread houses? I, like, I would destroy Maybe it. if you, like, got, this you know, made, made everything. Eat, if made, No, I was thinking maybe if you, like, baked the gingerbread and not, like, the pre-made. Like, I have uh, no idea how long this has been sitting in the store. But there's our football stadium. The boys have been outside playing hoops since um, the end of the Eagles game, which they won, by the way. Now it looks like Mason's gonna head out back while Jack grills and plays on his mini hoop out back. So earlier I said that Jack was going to the grocery store. We were out of milk and bread, so those are a must. You always have to have those in the house. And I said, pick up something to grill so we can grill out tonight. And what'd you get? Kebabs. Kebabs. And bacon wrapped chicken tenders. Ooh, have fun playing basketball back. All right, what's this again? And dad have fun grilling. Just kebabs? Yep. Are you ready? You wanna be blinded? Ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. <laughs> so after we eat, Mason actually has basketball homework he needs to do. He needs to write a letter to one of his teachers. So that's due on Tuesday, but I think that he's just gonna get it done today that way, tomorrow he can start studying for finals that he has this week. But don't forget to like this video, comment something in the comment section, subscribe. You guys, thanks for watching. It was a fun weekend. We will see you next time.